Now, what could be the most deflating news the party industry has ever heard? The world supply of helium is dwindling. You might not have known. It's going up, up and away for good. And that is deflating news not just for the balloon business. This is non-renewable gas, and it plays an important role in manufacturing, scientific research, and in health care. And the CTV's Joe Perkins found out there's no substitute for it. For Terry Hustins, it might be one of the saddest sounds in the world. It may sound like a balloon filling up with helium, but for Hustins, it's more like a buzzer. Another reminder, the end is near. I think very soon we'll see the end of uh, balloons and kids' birthday parties. For more than 20 years, the toy store owner has given free balloons to children who enter her store. But that stopped when Hustins discovered the precious gas is running out. As of this morning, I can't get any more helium. That's because there's a shortage. A large portion of the world's helium comes from natural gas wells in the U.S. In the early 90s, the U.S. government was ordered by U.S. Congress to sell off its underground reserves. And now reserves are beginning to dry up. Yeah, the, the, the way Praxair color codes things is... It's not what it looks like. Helium. Only a few of these canisters and, uh, contain but helium. This, uh, but UVic says it may have to stock up before cost bumps up. Oh, absolutely. Um, the cost could skyrocket as soon as, you know, supply dries up. And that could have serious effects on the future of scientific research. Oh, the research will stop. In the bowels of the university, you'll find machines dependent on liquid helium. Without it, researchers could be out of work. They will be doing nothing. They will have nothing more to check. But perhaps most affected, the medical field. Life-saving technologies such as MRI machines also rely on liquid helium. The Vancouver Island Health Authority says its MRI machines are newer and require less gas than usual. For now, Viha, UVic and the toy store all have contracts with suppliers for helium. But the contracts are only good if there is a supply. Chris Barr says there are private helium manufacturers around the world hoping to fill the void left by the U.S. But until they're operational, he says he's left waiting, watching helium waste away. As most of my friends will tell you, I get very upset when I see party balloons. Anger over something that for so many years brought joy. A simple balloon destined for deflation. CTV's Joe Perkins joins us live in the studio. You know, Joe, outside of the, the research and, and health care and, and party industries, nobody really knew about this or seemed to. Is there a timeline as to when the helium might dry up and what's the plan? It, Hudson, it's a bit of a question mark. I spoke to one person today who said it could be anywhere from 25 years to 100 years. Researchers at UVic are hoping there is some sort of substitute that will be found before them, but right now there isn't one. As far as the more familiar uses of helium goes, the party balloons and those funny noises, which we should note, uh, not healthy, not safe those types of things could be gone much sooner but you're right it really uh, it came out of nowhere we enjoyed your teaser earlier but kids don't do that at home it's, no. it's not good don't do that <laughs> all right Joe <laughs> thank you you're welcome